Um, John, you spend a lot of time of, on issues of federal information policy and practices. What do you see as the biggest opportunities and challenges that face this administration and its efforts to make government more transparent? And what is Sunlight working on to help sustain openness in the government? Thank you, Patrice. Uh, so I, I have to start off by saying what an incredible sunshine week. Uh, I think we were hopeful that a lot of these things would happen, but on top of the weather, I have like yeah. 40 <laughs> things to talk about. So that's why, that's why all of our notes have little scribbles all over them, because it's like, what, how can I fit all these ideas in? So looking back on just the last five days, um, uh, these are some of the things that pop into my head as the, the enormous things that have happened. Uh, Representative Israel, after working extensively with the Sunlight Foundation, unveiled the Public Online Information Act, or H.R. 4858, which is the new effort to try to get all public information in the executive branch to be required to be posted on the internet. Um, we're very excited about that. You can get more information on uh, about it at thepoya.org. Um, this week, if you've all been paying attention to the health care debate, it's gotten little attention. Um, <laughs> but that we've gone from the idea of bills being posted online for 72 hours before consideration. It was not long ago that that was a pipe dream or something that would only happen for uncontroversial bills. A year ago, that became something that, you know, maybe would be reasonable and would be done selectively. And this week, the health care bill is talked about as though that's an assumption. It's cited as though it's already a House rule. So we've gone from a dream to just assuming that it's reality, and that, and that happened this week. Uh, the Supreme Court unveiled a new version of their website, which takes the Supreme Court's website from, I would say, 1996 with the, with the gray background and everything but the dancing gifts to something like maybe 2000 or 2002 which, you know, it's 2010, but we'll take what we can get. So, so that was exciting. Um, the Sunlight Foundation launched, launched a new nationwide campaign to, get, to uh, inspire citizens to demand and engage with a more open government, which you can find out, at, found, find out about at publicequalsonline.com. Uh, the Congress has considered a new bill to address digital preservation uh, and, and the Plain Language Act to require um, uh, more easily understandable language. Uh, at the same time, the Open Government Directive plans are being finalized with agencies. I know people in a lot of agencies that have had uh, all-night writing sessions as they prepare drafts of their plans that are right now being circulated at the agencies. And we can't wait to see what comes out on April 7th. Um, and there's so much more happening. Uh, C-SPAN put up all of their, uh, their archives going back to something like 1980. So part of the reason I fell behind this week was I was spending so much time looking <laughs> through their archives at, for example, everyone in my, in my organization and seeing what the first time is they appeared on C-SPAN, which I might get in trouble for saying, but it's really amusing if you look at everybody's <laughs> first appearance. For example, you can see uh, uh, then State Senator Barack Obama in 1998 talking about putting transportation subsidies online on C-SPAN or, or our executive oh. director in the early 90s or any number of things that I could get in trouble for bringing up. But <laughs> everyone should do their own uh, research through C-SPAN's old archives. Um, Carl Malamud's work on, on the new International Amateur Scanners League, mm -hmm. which is a, a movement of people trying to s begin to digitize our nation's uh, re recorded history, is it got attention in the New York Times and is starting to grow. I mean, right now it's at the stage where there's probably a few hundred DVDs. But to me, those few hundred DVDs represent the beginning of what will become a hockey stick of citizens being able to participate in not only opening or engaging with or analyzing the government, but helping to digi digitize our history. And by the way, that's at the national in coordination with the National Archives. Yes, thank yes. you. I could describe any of these things wrong because, like I said, I have 40 of them. No, no, I, won't, I won't go through all of them, but there, there are so many things happening right now and, and a lot more things I can't talk about yet that we're still working on. So in conjunction, these things to me represent the opportunity, the opportunity that we have, and that's that we see broad, sort of coordinated movement toward creating a more open government, especially through technology uh, and through policy and through what's really been a change in the national psyche because of our experience of using technology and because of what's really become an Obama-era promise about what technology can do for the government. Um, now, along with that, with that opportunity that's happening, we have a lot of challenges, um, and one of them is living up to, the, to those opportunities and what could be hype. Um, so I, I said this at, at an earlier talk. Um, I don't want to see happen to transparency what happened to breakdancing. Um, so it, 
Uh, basically, what happened to break dancing? Not in anymore. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, Thank goodness they didn't make me special counsel for break dancing. <laughs> I, I I don't want it to see. I don't want a brief commercial success that right. then becomes not hip in 2012. Right. Right. That's my concern. I want I want this to become sustainable and valuable and built in and assumed and not something that was over promised and then and then becomes a fad that leaves. So that leads us with a, a lot of challenges. Just in brief, uh, we need to we need to balance between codifying the the new things that the executive branch is doing, uh, and at the same time managing to uh, encourage and do the right amount of experimentation. So there's a balance between uh, um, uh, codifying things and and the right amount of experimentation. Um, and there's certainly a challenge around. Um, coordination outside the government. So all the thousands of experiments that are happening, it's fine if some of the open government experiments outside the government fail. But I think that's another thing that we have to deal with is the amount of enthusiasm and figuring out what the right way is to receive all of that, sorry, all of that popular enthusiasm. So in, in short, Sunshine Week, enormous success. So happy to be able to talk today, if only just to be able to organize my thoughts after <laughs> what has been such I a crazy week. Original. But the, the genie's out of the bottle, or the, the, as we say at Sunlight sometimes, the camel's nose is now officially sticking into the tent. So uh, it's exciting to be a part of that. Thank you. And I think Norm is, is, is 